Pauline and I are down in the valley, the, the, the great alpine valleys, staying at the bright caravan park. And uh, we're just out touring the district, having a look around. This is a little village called Poor Punka. And uh, it's a great place and people are catching fish behind us in the river, catching trout this morning. And um, we're, we're just going to cruise around, have a look at the autumn colours in the district. Magnificent weather today. We've got clear skies, bright sunshine and uh, a little bit crisp this morning though. Very Victorian Alpine Valley morning. But during the day, fantastic weather for travelling. We continue our morning by driving along the Buckland Valley Road. And then we came across this beautiful single lane, a bridge called the Buckland Bridge. Now the Buckland Bridge has an interesting history in that it was first built in 1929 by a bridge builder who used the steel girders from old dredging machines from the gold mines. There were four individual dredges that were dismantled and the main beam was used to form the bridge. And so we have a modern day bridge which is being built with recycled mining equipment. But whilst we're on the bridge we we're in the perfect position to film this fly fisherman trying to catch some trout just a little bit downstream from the bridge and although we saw people catching trout in the town this morning this man seemed to be having less fortune then as you do when you're traveling on the road we met a lovely couple at the Buckland Bridge picnic ground and eventually they wanted to learn a little bit about harmonica which I was happy to share However, after the harmonica lesson, they, they led us on a mountain track that was going to circumnavigate Mount Buffalo all the way to Myrtleford. And here we go. Well, here we are on top of the mountain. We've come up that little track there and uh, found ourselves way, way up here. And vertigo all the way up is the road we've come up. And we're going up higher still. There's Mount Buffalo there. There's Pauline in the car. That's how high we are, we're up as high as the power lines and uh, looking down over the valley, the Buckland Valley. Wow. But sadly, before we could reach the top of the mountain and circumnavigate Mount Buffalo, a large tree trunk had fallen across the path and had blocked the road. So our friends in front managed to turn around after reversing for two kilometres on this narrow path and came back to warn us that we would not get through. So then there was this long descent down the mountain with that magnificent view looking out over the valley. I think we're higher than the power lines at this spot. Looking over the Buckland Valley, which sits beneath uh, Mount Buffalo. That's the Buckland Valley down there. Um, just pull up down here in a second, let you swing around and catch that waterfall. So, and that's Mount Buffalo to our left. Get the waterfall coming down the mountain. Can 
I can't talk at the moment because I'm hanging on by my teeth. <laughs> but eventually we did make it safely down to the bottom of the valley and we went off to further explore the history of the area.